So you finally decide that you want to invest in something that's out of your price range. Like maybe a Joe Flacco football jersey. But there's one problem. You aren't going to go above your price range. You're too unwise enough to use a reliable website like eBay to get cheaper jerseys because you completely forgot it exists. So you go searching through Google looking for the best way to buy a cheap jersey like the man on the mission that you are from a team you just want the bandwagon. There's hundreds of websites out there that'll sell you an item for dirt cheap price compared to everything else you can find. So you want to pounce on the opportunity like a lion on a baby antelope. But here's the catch. It's sketchy as hell. So you go look at some of the reviews of some of these websites to see if any of them are credible at all. And some of them may be. Some of them may be just Arabian princes trying to fund their research on how to fix their micro penises and won't give you an actual product. But you don't know that because there's an ungodly amount of fake reviews out there saying it's legit. So you finally decide to buy your favorite player's jersey, Joe Flacco, from a sketchy website and hope for the best they don't use your money to buy a 13 year old wife. You slap your address and card information in there as if you were 7 years old and your mom let you buy a Snickers from Dollar Tree. But now you just have to wait. As long as it takes. January 18th. Your order is put in. You can hardly wait because Joe Flacco is going to be Hall of Fame one day. Everyone else will see. January 20th. After the long wait of two days, you get your first confirmation email that says your order has been shipped and it'll take seven to 12 days for delivery. But the shipping starts taking so long that your morale plummets like a landslide and your dog decides to pack its bag and run away. February 5th comes along and you go out of your way to message the male octopus, as I like to call it, and see what they have to say for themselves. Little did you expect it to be a blatant lie because they were out of office, quote unquote, from January 20th to February 1st. Even even though it's the fifth. You can actually check up on your package delivery, which so far is up to date, but sounds like a lot of horse <laughs> February 6th, your order is in transit. Fast forward, it's February 15th, almost a month from your original purchase, where you were excited to support the number one QB in the world, but you had some kind of handicap because you couldn't just look on eBay like a normal person. Last update you got was the 6th of course when it went out the transit into your country. It's now been a month and you haven't heard about your prized Joe Flacco jersey since you stupidly put in your mother's credit card information. Every day you check on your jersey's progress but of course it changes less than PewDiePie's move to a 1080p resolution. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't happen. It's now March. Joe Flacco is nowhere to be found. You're like $40 broker. Your dog is gone. An Arabian prince is marrying a 13 year old and life just sucks. You decide to go to the actual website to see what the hell is going on because you haven't visited since you bought the item. But you press enter in the search bar and the website has completely changed or been bought out or something else happened. Or it just doesn't exist at all. So long story short, you got bamboozled. You basically gave this Arabian prince money for nothing in return. But now he can afford a camel to ride off into the sunset with his 13 year old wife and live happily ever after. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when you buy something from a sketchy website. Thank you for coming to my TED talk.